Welcome back to my channel. I'm NDL Jamer, and today Elf Explorer has some new updates. So I made this video to give you the most complete rundown. The biggest change in this update is the arena. You just need to click and you'll automatically win if your CP is high enough. Once you reach the top 3000, every win will reward you with gems. It's best to attack the highest ranked player to get the most gems. From what I've seen, you can earn between 200 to 600 gems when attacking the top ranked players. This is a great place to farm a lot of gems. Oh, and in this game they call them crystals, but I'm used to calling them gems, so I hope you can understand. Next is the change to the gacha system in the game. The gacha for Pokemon from all generations will now share the same total number of gacha tickets required to get a UR, so you can freely use your tickets in any generation you like. Next, the prices for zip and energy have been reduced, which I think is great because I need to buy a lot of those items. Next, Terra has been changed, and now only 3-star Terra remains. However, the bosses are more challenging, and the rewards are greater. But with a good strategy, no matter how tough the boss is, it won't matter anymore. Uh, the trainer battle interface has had a color change to make it easier to see. Personally, I don't think this was necessary as it sometimes makes me misread things since I'm used to the old colors. Eevee copy during the day now gives mushrooms instead of ability stones. But don't worry, they've added ability stones to other game modes where you can get even more. I think the mushrooms are also useful for buying feathers that increase the base point limit. Uh, there's also a change in the union rewards. There are now more ability stones and mega stones than before, and the difficulty will gradually increase with each battle. This makes it easier to reach top 1, but the challenge battles will definitely be tough. However, I haven't been able to confirm the difficulty yet, as I finished my battles before this update was released. A new game mode, Infinity Tower, has been added. This mode makes it easier to, to upgrade the stars for held items. I've only tested the first few floors, so I'm not sure if higher floors will have gold or red stars, but 
If they do, I imagine it will be very challenging. So you'll need to prepare a lot of Pokemon to fully utilize their skills and defeat the powerful bosses later on. The rewards in the leader section have been increased to encourage you to play leader more often. Uh, additionally, if you're at, at a lower rank, you'll find it easier to win now compared to before. The matchmaking is more accurate, so you'll face opponents closer to your rank. At very low ranks, you mostly encounter bots which are usually quite weak, allowing you to win easily and climb the ranks. Now, in the Get Ability section, each time you click, the chance of getting an ability increases. It's no longer fixed at 20 attempts, as in the previous update. I think this is better because the increasing percentage means you'll use fewer ability stones. Also, a reminder, if you're using a particular ability, try not to switch to another one, as switching back to the original ability will cost you 100, 100 ability stones, which can be quite hard to come by. One more change that prioritizes paying players is that the monthly card now offers a daily reward of 200 gems instead of the previous 50 zip. In the shop, there's now a discount section for gem bundles that resets daily. This is quite nice because if there are items you need and they're on discount, it's a great deal. Additionally, they've added some essential materials for sale using honor coins, which you can earn by battling in leader mode. Make sure to keep up with leader battles to collect these coins. There's also a new VIP Terra mode that looks pretty cool, but I'm not sure where to find the materials for it yet.